5, Apple unveiled, or the Apple unveiled that they would be replacing the iPod Mini, Mini, which was very successful and had hard times keeping, keeping off the shelf, keeping it in stock. So Apple decided to replace it with the iPod Nano, which is far slimmer, and it had a much, it was really not much different to it, but it was in, innovative at the time. But how's it doing 16 years later? Well, it's obviously pretty obsolete. I mean, let's first talk about the storage capacity. So, the design actually. So, the design right here is plastic on the front. And the click wheel is plastic too. And it can crack, as you can tell mine has cracked and it has a little dent here. And then on the back we get the chrome back. Along with this mute switch and the 30 pin dot connector as well as the headphone jack but speaking of the iPod Nano's design it is actually capable of standing up by itself as you can see here well if I can or at least it was in another room well it's not actually capable but it was in another room though so that was pretty cool but this is a very, but you could also get this in black or white, as well as the storage capacities of one gigabyte, two gigabyte, and four gigabytes. This so iPod had pretty basic functions like music, photos, play, playlists, or podcasts, clock, stopwatch, screen lock, contacts, notes, game calendar, set, settings, etc., and also had. But this also had a color display, unlike the iPod mi Mini at the time, previous iPod Mini, which only had no, which had no, which had no display, which had no color display whatsoever. So this was a pretty neat addition. And the design was much more premium, but other than that, the iPod Nano didn't really bring that much, many new improvements. However, there was an issue with these scratching, so they did get, there was a refund in 2010 for these for $40 or something like that for all customers of these because they scratch so easily. They scratch so easily when they first released. And as you can tell, the battery all life on this is terrible. It's already gone down to low. I haven't been even using it that much, very much today. So that just goes to show you how terrible the battery life is. But is there anything else about this iPod that's unique or interesting? Uh, well, otherwise, this iPod really didn't have anything too unique to it. It was just basic click wheel iPod, but it was successful and will there lead to a very successful iPod Nano franchise. So, I guess that's the end of this video. If you, got, if you guys have, have an, as I'm dedicating this whole month, month to being just about iPods in terms of videos, if you guys want have a video idea for this iPods, comment down, down below for I don't have too many ideas for this first little series that I'm doing for the month of October and all my social media will be linked down below in the description and as always peace out